Hey guys, it's Kevin here. Um, today you may be wondering why am I sitting on the floor in my kitchen? Well, it's because I am here to talk to you about my new dishwasher. Um, I'm absolutely in love with this product. It has made my kitchen cleaning chores a lot easier and is a huge upgrade to my old dishwasher. So what is it? Well, this is the Samsung Linear Dishwasher. Um, it is a great investment. It is on the higher end price point. Um, I'll include a link down below for all the information on pricing and whatnot to Amazon. You can check it out yourself. Obviously, you can pick this thing up on um, at all kinds of major retailers, Best Buy, um, Samsung's website directly. There's a lot of places they sell it. So uh, this is kind of the face of it. It's a very clean, modern look um, with a little simple bar here. Um, it is stainless steel, which matches my other appliances, and more importantly, it um, is fingerprint resistant. So no fingerprints have ever shown up on this thing while I've been using it, which is absolutely great. Um, and then I'll kind of show you, you kind of pull it down here at the top, and this is where all the control panel is. So you've got your power button, then you've got your various washing settings. It has an auto setting, a heavy a light, a delicate, express, rinse only, self-clean. And then the linear wash is at the bottom. And what it does is it has this um, device that moves and just totally blasts all your dishes to remove that dirt, which is really awesome. So because of that, on one of the sides, it has um, booster level. So there's this is the lower rack boosting options. Um, and then these are the various temperatures and it has some smart controls. So you can hook it up to your cell phone. Essentially all that does is it's gonna send you a message when um, your washer is complete or letting you know how long your dishwasher has left to go. And then it also has suggested loading options for the various racks. But, um, and then it has over here on the end, you have a delay start time. So if you wanna program this to start at a certain time, um, you can set that up here and then simply the start button and then it is a Bixby device. So opening it up, um, on the front over here is where you could put the rinse aid, um, and then it has the multiple settings, and then the sliding door here for your detergent. Um, I've been just using the pouch one, so I don't have the rinse aid. You just throw that in there. Now I have, because um, I wanted to keep it kind of light here, so I have a minimum amount of dishes in here, but I wanted to give you an idea of, of loading. So here is the bottom rack. This rack is designed more for your pots, your pans, your heavy dishes. We've got a few plates. These are um, adjustable, so you can put them down if you've got bigger stuff in here. And then you've got the optional basket um, for just small little bulky items or your silverware if you want it. And then in the back, you may or may not be able to see it, there is the linear bar that that slowly moves and blasts the water. These things, this dishwasher has done an amazing job cleaning the dishes. I've been incredibly impressed with it. Um, been very happy with it. So then the second rack here, this is more designed for your smaller stuff, your glasses, um, your wine glasses. And then in the back here, it has adjustables for your wine, your tall glasses, your small glasses, your coffee cups, etc. And then on the side, you can see these red tabs. If you, if you pull those, it'll allow you to raise or lower this in position. So um, if you have taller dishes on the bottom rack, it, it allows you to boost this up. And then of course we have the additional washer spinning here. And then the third rack, now this is kind of, I enjoy this. I could see some people not necessarily liking it, but on the top here is a purely a silverware rack. So you, between all these little spots here, you lay out your, your silverware. Um, the reason I could see some people not liking it is it takes longer loading because the universe is just dumping into a basket down here. However, to me, it makes unloading super easy because you can grab all the spoons, you can grab all the forks, you can grab all the knives, and then you can lay things like tongs or, or grill, um, spatula, whatever, across the top, and it gets them clean, gets them out of the way. The only disadvantage um, of the third rack that I've come across is, so I do have some taller plates, so the middle drawer is in the higher position. And if this is in a higher position and you want to put in um, some stemmed glasses, 
that will hit this drawer. So that is kind of something you have to decide. Now, I love me some stemless wine glasses, so that's not really a big issue in this household, but I could see some people not liking that. This is fully removable, so if you don't like it, you can easily get rid of it. Um, so that's kind of what the inside looks like. Like I said, I've touched briefly on performance. Um, it is got all my dishes very clean. Um, it is super quiet, which is great. Gone are the days of listening to the dishwasher while you're trying to watch a movie or eat dinner or whatnot. Super quiet, you barely even hear it um, turns on. Another two features about this thing that I absolutely love is on the face here, which I'll show you this in a minute. Um, there is a panel back here and it'll tell you exactly how much time is left on the dishwasher once you get it started. Once again, you can also use an app, which will tell you that and it'll also send you a little message or whatever. But right on the dishwasher, you can quickly look at it and it'll tell you down to the minute how long's left. And then the final feature, which, which is, was a huge selling point for me, is um, in the final rounds of the drying cycle, it will automatically pop open and you can hear the fan still circulating for eight or so minutes. Um, and that's gonna help you get your dry dishes dry quicker. Uh, it saves energy by popping this open and air drying. And it also makes it great if you're going, going out of town or you wanna to go to bed, you don't have to worry about your dishes sitting in here with water because this is a, a good seal on it. So they're not gonna get dry unless this door is open. So go on vacation, have clean dishes when you come back. You don't have to worry about that musty smell or anything like that because your dishwasher automatically popped open and dried it. So overall, I've been, like I said, I've been really happy with it. I can't stress how great of a dishwasher this has been. And it is, like I said, it is super quiet. On the website, it says it's 39 decibels. Um, I don't have a sound meter, so I can't test that. But let me kind of show you here what it, what it sounds like when I turn it on. So we're gonna power it on, as you can see, powered on. It's on auto. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just change it to, um, let's see, we'll just do normal mode. Oh, you know, let's leave it on auto. Um, Cause there's not a lot of dishes in here. This is probably, obviously, this is probably the lightest load I've ever done on it here. So we'll leave it on auto and we'll just go ahead, close it and hit the start button. Beep, here we go, good to go. And that's the sound. You can hear it's pumping some water out into the sink, what was left in the pipes, but that's it. This is how quiet this thing is. I mean, truly incredible when it is running on how quiet this dishwasher is. So, like I said, if you're in the market for a new dishwasher, check out the link below. I'll have all kinds of additional information for it. You know, view the options and see what's the right fit with you, but I can't stress how great this is. So. Till the next review, uh, you guys take it easy and be sure to like the channel, um, hit me up for comments. I do respond to them and um, be sure to share the video too. So till the next one, you guys take it easy. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. I hope you liked it. Be sure to help me out and uh, hit the subscribe button or comment below on this video. Until the next one, be sure to check out any of the other videos that I have floating around on my channel.